Hey guys, welcome to Effortless Code Learning. In this video let's learn how to add text to speech support in Flutter application. So make sure to watch the video till the end. To make this video short, I have already created this UI here. Gradually let's add text to speech supports into this application. So let's first quickly go through the UI. Here in this text field, we can enter text and that text will be spoken as soon as the speak button is clicked and in between the speaking activity can be stopped using the stop button. Below this, I have added slider for volume, pitch and speech rate that can be used to control the text to speech. Also at the end of the video, we will add here language drop down. So on change of the language, the text to speech will be changed. To add supports for text to speech, I will be using Flutter TTS package. This package supports Android, iOS, web and Mac OS platform. For Android, we need to make change in build.gradle file. Here we need to set main SDK version to 21 because this package supports 21 version onwards only. Also to add supports in Android 11, we need to make change in Android manifest.xml. Here we need to add TTS service action in set queries. Now let's make change in Dart file. Here I will be creating object of Flutter TTS class. Now let's define method to speak the text. It will be async method. We will call speak method on flutter tts object. And here we will pass the text entered in this text field. So I will call controller.text. Now let's call the speak method from the on press callback handler of the speak button. Now let's write method to stop the speaking activity. So let's define another method. It will be a sync method. Here on flutter tts object I will call stop method. It will stop the speaking activity. Now let's call this method from on press callback handler of the stop button. We have called these methods from on press callback handler of these buttons. Now let's quickly check. Then we will add code for these sliders. Here you can see text to speech supports is added into this application. Now let's add support for this volume, pitch and speech rate. So this text to speech can be changed. So for that I have already defined these variables for volume, pitch and speech rate. These variables I have already set on the slider on change value. Here you can see. I will be using these values to change the text to speech. Now let's define another async method. Here first of all I will set volume. So I will call flutter tts dot set volume. And I will pass this volume variable to this method. Now let's call this method from the speak method. Let's check. Hi, how are you? You can see the volume is lower. Now let's increase the volume. Hi, how are you? Volume is increased. Now let's set support for pitch and speech rate. To set pitch rate, I will be calling flutter.setPitch method. And I will pass this pitch variable to this method. This pitch has value of range between 0.5 to 2. 1 means normal pitch. 0.5 means deep pitch. Likewise, volume has values between 0 to 1. 0 means lower voice and 1 means higher voice. Now let's set speech rate. Here I will be using set speech rate method on this flutter tts object. Now 
I have defined this speech rate variable here. This speech rate has range between 0 to 1. Now let's check. Hi, how are you? Here you can see I just changed the speech. The text to speech voice is changed. Now let's increase the pitch. Hi, how are you? You would have seen the difference. Now let's increase the speech rate. Hi, how are you? This voice is getting changed based on these options. Now so far we have added supports for this text to speech. Also we have added support for volume, pitch and speech rate. Now let's add support for language. So we can change the language here and accordingly the voice will be changed. So here at the top let's define another method. From this method I will get list of language available on this phone. So I will call flutter.ts.getLanguage. I will cast it to string list. Below this let's call set state for state change. Now let's show language drop down here below this speech rate slider. Let's check if condition if language list is not null. Now let's add code for drop down. Here I have added row widget. Inside this row widget, I have added text. And beside this text, I have added this drop down to change the language. Here I forgot to call this init method from init state method. So let's call this method from init state. Now let's check. Here you can see language drop down is shown. We can change the language here. Now let's add some margin here. So let's wrap this row widget inside container widget. Now let's set this language in Flutter TTS object. To set the language in Flutter TTS, I will be calling Flutter TTS dot set language method inside this init setting method. I will be using this lang code variable that I have already defined here at the top. For this variable, I have set this default language code. Now let's check. Hi, how are you? Now let's change language code to Spanish. Hi, how are you? You can see why is it change for Spanish language. Now let's change another language and check. Hi, how are you? You can see the voice is getting changed based on the selection of the language. Now let's put Spanish text here and check. So I will be putting this text inside text box. Let's select Spanish language. Hola, como estas? Here you can see Spanish text is spoken. These are common methods supported by all the platforms. There are some platform specific extra methods like pause method supported only on iOS and web, but it is not supported on Android. You can find platform specific method on package page. Here you can see list of platform specific methods. Based on your requirement, you can use these methods. That's all for this video. This source code is available on Git. Link is given in the description. If you have any issue or suggestion, please comment below.